Good job. Put it in the bucket. We'll let those dry and we'll crush them up and give them to the chicken. Now that we've got breakfast and the barn chore is done out of the way, we're going to get a bucket and get some soil so we can start some bucket potatoes. Bucket potatoes can be grown indoors or they can grow out on the porch. Um, still way too wet outside with all the rain we've had for us to be able to even think about planting outside. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take these potatoes here. See them all sprouting? I'm gonna take a few of these and we're gonna get them into a bucket and put them in here in the dining room where they're going to get plenty of sun and start growing some potatoes. Okay, so the first thing in regards to doing our bucket potatoes is you just need a regular food grade five gallon bucket. I've got two of them um, that I'm going to be using to put the potatoes in. And first thing we're going to have to do is drill some holes in it. And if you're not sure where to get buckets like this, you can get these actually at just like Walmart. Sometimes you can even get them for free at the uh, like Kroger Bakery, Walmart Bakery, or maybe you do have a local bakery. Uh, you can always call in and see if they have any of the buckets left over from the icing and stuff like that that you could get for free. Um, they were out of them when I went over there that uh, to pick some up uh, the one day, so I just went ahead and grabbed a couple, and they were only $2 a piece. So what first thing we have to do is drill some holes. So I've just got a half-inch bit. I think it's a half inch. And we're just going to go all the way around and 
keep making holes because we need to make it be able to let it dry. So what we're gonna be using to grow the potatoes in is just plain, simple, composted manure and hay. This is my compost pile. Uh, it's got chicken manure, goat manure, veggie scraps, horse manure, and soiled hay, straw in it as well. So that's the fresher side over here is where it's been working. And we're gonna grab a couple scoop shovelfuls out of this and get it into there. We'll need about six inches in the bottom and as the potatoes grow we'll just keep adding more so it fills up to the top and i also have a partial bag of uh, uh, peat moss that i'm going to add a little bit of that in there as well but mostly it's just going to be good old compost all right so here we've got our buckets they've got their drain holes drilled in and i've got some really nice dark compost in each one with a little bit of peat moss now i'm not going to water them just because we've had a lot of rain so the uh compost is actually quite moist. You want to water them occasionally just feel so they're damp. You don't want to overwater um, your potatoes rot. So what we're going to do is we're going to take some of these nice little starts. I'm just going to lightly cover them. You don't want to put too many in here. I might Put three maybe in each one you want to make sure that you're so that's it for getting your bucket potatoes ready to start growing. As they start to um, come up, the leaves start to grow and come up, you will want to add a little bit of soil as they grow until you reach the top of the bucket. Then your uh, your, to your potato pot tops will just be growing out of the top of the bucket. But just gradually add that dirt periodically uh, to do that. <laughs> um, and hopefully you have some success. We'll check back later as they grow and see what uh, we get out of them so we'll see uh, if you've done it before please comment and let me know how yours went any tips or suggestions would be wonderful and as always like and subscribe our videos have a good one